What is going on everybody? So we finally have some news on the plans WWE has for Bayley as NXT Women's Champion. Heading into the NXT TakeOver event in October, WWE plans to have Bayley defend her Women's NXT Championship against Dana Brooke and retain. Eva Marie is expected to be the next challenger for the title heading into the NXT TakeOver long event in December 16th. Interesting. Now I'm glad that first off when Bayley you know, it's the first title match for her. It'll be against Dana Brooke and retain because Dana Brooke really not even that ready in general. She has the look down, but she's not ready. And I hope the rumors are not true that Bailey will lose the title to Eva Marie. I know Eva Marie is practicing. I know she's training. She's probably trying hard, which she should have tried harder when she first got into the WWE, not three years later. But honestly feel that it'd be too early to give it to Eva Marie. I feel like it'd have to be more to next year and just show that Eva Marie can put up a fight with Bayley first before she actually wins it because I don't want Eva Marie to win the NXT Women's Championship this year. Next year if she gets better, sure why not. Next up we have WWE changes plans for Kane's return. Originally Kane was scheduled to return to action on tonight's episode of Raw which is the September 7th 2015 edition of Raw but those plans have changed. WWE is no longer advertising him and with the last minute edition on Sting on tonight's show he's not needed. So it looks like Kane won't be returning for a while now which is interesting because if Honestly, if they're going to bring him back, it really, if it has to be one last hurrah because him, Big Show, and Mark Henry, I'm pretty sure they're getting that by next year. Give him one last hurrah and let Kane be the monster Kane. Don't let him be corporate Kane again. And if he's not going to be the monster, the big red monster Kane, the, what is it, the devil's favorite demon, let him be concession stand Kane. That's probably the second best one he's had. Next up we have Lana got hurt at a WWE live event. Lana suffered an injury on either this past weekend, that was Friday or Saturday. She got into physical altercation with Summer Rae and you know she got really physical there and I'm pretty sure that's where the injury came from because they had another live show the next day after the supposed injury and she did not go out with Dolph Ziggler at that event. Dolph Ziggler came out alone so you know also she showed a picture of her injuries so Lana got injured which is sad because apparently it's supposed to need surgery and she's gonna be out for maybe four months which kind of sucks for that whole baby face push they wanted to do on Lana she probably she goes over so good with the fans so I think her return will be big next up we have WWE plans to repackage Bo Dallas on this latest installment of Wrestling Observer Live uh, they reported that WWE has plans to repackage Bo Dallas and give him a new gimmick. While no other details were given, it's been seen that the company has not been using Dallas often on a regular basis over the past couple months. Which is true. You saw him only once when Brock Lesnar gave him so many suplexes in F5. And I really like the Bo leave thing, but they just never did anything with it anymore. WWE never really stuck with it. They just let him go and let him go back to the mid card or even under that where he's he's Slater or something so and lastly Dana White addresses fake wrestling WWE comment a while back ago Dana White said that wrestling was fake and what he does is real and then when Brock Lesnar went on ESPN to promote his SummerSlam match he kind of rebutted and said oh we're, it's not really that fake we're in the same type of business and all that recently Dana White rebuttal to that and he just basically saying I agree with both of them too that it's hard to say anything on the internet without people getting pissed off and getting mad at you and everything and he's basically saying he has a lot of respect for everybody in the WWE except Rollins was even coming to Dana White's aid when people were talking stuff about him because he said fake you know there's it's why I don't know why you would get mad at what he says because he's clearly in the business he knows what he's doing he's been here for such a long time so Clearly, he kind of knew what he was saying, but he kind of like slipped up and said fake when he probably meant something else. And honestly, he's fans of the wrestlers themselves that are in the WWE because when they go to UFC events, he makes sure they have a good time and everything and they take care of them. He treats them with respect, Vince too and everything. So maybe next time, Dana, don't really try to slip up. That's all I'm saying.